Hello everyone, welcome to English 2090 Literature and Film WE Online for Spring 2020. I just wanted to introduce myself and give a brief overview of the course beyond what I want you to do in terms of reviewing the syllabus yourself. Now, just to reiterate, my name is Dr. Bernson, and this is a complete online asynchronous course. Again, credit hours three as normal, and of course, WE component. And I just want to go through a little bit more, kind of clarify or add or further explain a couple ideas that in case you haven't taken a WE course or if this is your first online course, just a couple kind of ideas that we want to run through today. Now, I am in two different office locations since I am the interim writing center director. One of them is in Dial. 133, the other is in DF Lowry, 313. If you are on campus ever and want to meet up, feel free. Uh, those are my regular office hours, but of course I'm always on campus anyway. And then those are my two office numbers if you want to call, and then of course my email. Now, should I shouldn't have to explain this, but definitely will. Um, but also just want to reiterate this kind of aspect that this particular online course is not something you could do in a day it is a semester three credit hour 2000 survey so we are supposed to build on prior knowledge from previous english classes 1050 or 1060 or both as well as just again a general literature course that's going to be working through all kind of genres of literature we have to cover three different genres we have to make sure that we're covering um, different authors from different time periods and so forth so i tried to get a good slew of kind of um, female voices, male voices, white, non-white, all sorts of kind of multicultural aspects and um, different cultural eras and so forth and historical periods. So this is a regular class, even though it's online, right? So you can't just do everything in a day and call it a semester. We'll be pretty much doing a weekly task schedule and if you haven't looked at the syllabus yet, I'll just kind of explain a little further how that's going to work. Now, all the texts are provided for you. I'm trying to save you money. So if you go on Canvas, they're in the assignment form, but also right up top in our module homepage, you'll see all the different semester readings and pretty much the um, start of the week when they should be either read by or when you should start reading them, depending. Um, unfortunately, with um, Canvas, I can't do multiple assignments, uh, due dates without really messing files up. So um, these are just the general kind of um, outline due dates that you want to pay attention to for the readings. Now, since it's a film class as well, we also are using streaming services. Now, if you haven't signed up for Canopy, Canopy is a free streaming service provided by UNCP. The um, assignment that's coming up, that's due at the end of the week, we'll just I just need you to either, you know, screenshot your desktop just to show me that you've signed in and so forth. And then same thing with Tubi. Again, both of these are free. Tubi is not through UNCP. Tubi is through just a um, regular app. Both of these you could download to Roku, Amazon Fire, any kind of internet, TV, laptop as well as apps on your phone and so forth. Tubi is just a general free uh, movie and TV streaming service. Again, for Friday's assignment, I just want you to kind of, all I need you to do is screenshot your account to show you, or excuse me, show me that you've signed up for both of these. In terms of the kind of prereqs and course descriptions i won't take too much time because you could read through them on your own but again just a reminder that you need to have earned a c grade or better in english 1050 or the equivalent if you're a transfer student if not you will be dropped for the course and pretty much in terms of the course theme and then the writing enriched if this is your first time i'll go through just a bit so what i've designed this course to be is kind of an art influencing art kind of idea we'll look at music we'll look at comics we'll look at literature we'll look at plays we'll look at obviously movies we'll look at short stories longer fiction novels novellas everything in between so i'd kind of design this as a kind of theme that shows how not only literature is adapted in the film, but how all sorts of art is influencing every sort of facet of literature and film. So again, we're focusing on their, you know all sorts of multiple ethnicities, sexualities, genders, and so forth. So I tried to pull from a lot of important historical periods, but also important modern periods and so forth that we could kind of relate to. Now, what this means with writing enriched, if you haven't taken this before, it simply means that obviously you're going to be doing a little bit more writing, 
even beyond what you would normally do for an online class. Most of what this really entails is for us to what they call scaffold, right, uh, writing assignments. So a lot of your homework will be turned into essays, a lot of your essays will be peer reviewed, revised and so forth throughout the semester. So that's pretty much what you're dealing with with a writing enriched environment. Uh, you'll have opportunities to revise every major assignment that's due and you'll have opportunity to kind of brainstorm with your homework and then turn that into major assignments. I'm not going to reiterate all these major points, just read through them yourselves. The only uh, kind of highlight I want to do is, of course, the online basics. Uh, since we are going to be talking about numerous different ethnicities, sexualities, genders, and so forth, you know, just keep discussion civil. We could obviously disagree with each other, but just keep it polite, keep it professional, and so forth, right? Again, you know, this is a class, so you want to make sure that you everything that you turn in whether it's homework, major assignment, discussion board, is in proper standard English grammar, spelling, diction, all that, because all that matters in terms of, again, an English class. So if for some reason you're kind of a little leery about discussing controversial issues, sensitive topics, you may want to find a different English course. Um, no harm in that. But again, if you're interested in discussing a lot of political, religious, social ideas, and so forth, this class would be great for you. Again, you know, this isn't a regular online forum. We can't, you know, we don't tolerate any form of abuse or anything. So keep it, again, logical, keep it professional and so forth. Now, as you see, I'm recording lectures and most of the lectures will be submitted through YouTube and so forth. So you could use captions as well. You want to make sure that you have access to video streaming and all that stuff. If you are new to the university, Canvas can only accept these documents. Let me move this a bit for you. So uh, Word, ODT, Rich, and then PDF. That's it. I can't accept any kind of works or anything like that. Just in general, I do a lot of stuff. So please allow at least 14 hours for me to respond. And I kind of expect the same for you. If I email you, I don't expect you to email me back right away. Again, you could go through the major assignments, the major requirements, and so forth. But um, again, I need to see you, even though we don't have class itself, I still need to see you on discussion boards. Pretty much everything we do will have a grade anyway, and it will fall under these categories, whether reading quiz, lecture quiz, oops, didn't mean to hit that, homework, and then of course the major summons. But all the homework will pretty much, you know, either be a discussion board or mini writing assignments. So again, I still need to see that you're viewing the recorded lectures, taking the quizzes, and so forth. So Again, I'm not going to go through all this stuff, but just note that you again, you're starting with kind of lower level assignments with your major ones, building to a five page essay, taking on theme and so forth. If you have questions, of course, always email me during, you know, um, the course. Well, I'll put a forum up so you could always ask questions in the discussion board. So again, always ask questions along the line. Same thing if you don't understand any of the descriptions of the major assignments. As I said, we're going to have ample opportunity for you to revise all major assignments. We'll do that in both peer review, but also you can email me and so forth to make sure that you get the best grade possible. There will be a final exam, and I kind of broke up the review to final exam for the last week. Um, it's going to be a comprehensive exam as long as you've been reading, as long as you've been looking at the video lectures, you'll be fine. Um, now, there is proctoring, too, if for some reason you need to proctor exams. I don't think that will be an issue, but if uh, for some reason you can't take the test when it is due or take a quiz when it's due, we do offer proctor services. Everything else is pretty standard, you know, in terms of, you know, the academic honor codes, don't plagiarize, you know. Um, I just put everything on, even though we don't obviously have to deal with the physical presence. But if for some reason there's a due date when it is a religious holiday, just send me the paperwork. I participate in both the LGBTQ plus and the secular safe zone programs. So if you're interested in learning about them or if you're interested in asking questions, feel free to see me. Again, make sure that you, revive, you know, review all these kind of information. They should be on most syllabi, but sometimes they just give you a link. But make sure you're familiar with all of them. Um, just note, too, that since it's a general survey course for English, that sometimes we're randomly selected for assessment. It This is just on there for legal purposes. It doesn't affect either you or me in terms of anything. So as I designed the task schedule or a calendar, which I also put separate on 
our home page so you have quick access here basically again i like to do online courses to try to get you as kind of structured as possible so you have leeway in terms of when you do things but also deadlines are important and it's important to kind of focus on deadlines so there'll be a few deadlines that are specific there are other deadlines that are a little bit more floating and so forth especially for this first week with roster verification i need to do a couple of different uh specific kind of assignments here for you as well as again making sure that you have access to canopy and tubi and there are no problems with those services for you everything else again is pretty much week by week um there'll be due dates there'll be reading again you'll see you know definitely have things read by the quiz date the good thing about with the online classes and so forth i'm not concerned about reading and then testing you in a forum that won't allow you to look at the piece of literature you can read the literature with the quiz you could look at the quiz questions then look at the piece of literature i just want to make sure you're reading i don't care about anything else i just want to make sure that you're reading and of course understanding the material so the reading quizzes should be easy everyone should get 100 percent on these reading quizzes and lecture quizzes but again i'm doing that because i just want to make sure you're reading and reading thoroughly not just kind of glancing and skimming or you know doing the spark notes and so forth you know you i, I need to know that you can read Shakespeare I need to know that you can read you know different works throughout history so you know that just pay attention to that again the quizzes should be easy because you have the material in front of you and there are no tricks or anything and you'll see I'll add more tasks uh, depending on week and depending on how you're comprehending the literature and all that but you know we'll always have some sort of discussion question or some sort of writing prompt with the uh, literature and I try to break it down week to week where we're pretty much handling literature one week and then film the next talking about different film techniques and so forth so you know that's pretty much what's going to happen week to week again though the hard deadlines are of course some are already put in there for quizzes and so forth just for migrating purposes other deadlines of course are for the writing and rich component so you have essays due and then you can work on them continuously throughout the rest of the semester making sure you revise them as much as possible to get the best grade if you have questions again i try to make it as clear as possible in terms of the breakdown from week to week and so forth email me again if you are on campus stop by um, the office if for any reason if you need anything in alternative formats most of the stuff will be again either with captioned and so forth but if you need alternative formats always contact the uh, arc and if you do have any requests to or needs again make sure that you contact them as well as me so we could accommodate accordingly i'm looking forward to this semester i love this class this is one of my favorite classes i teach i try to change up the theme every semester so uh, i think you'll really enjoy the works that we're reading since we're covering again comics we're covering plays novels short stories all sorts of fun um works and, and again we'll even throw in music and so forth just to kind of look at how again art influences art so again i hope you have a great time with this class online classes are as tough both for you and me it's a lot more work for both students and teachers because it requires us to do a lot more writing a lot more reading than we would if we were just having a discussion one-on-one -on -one. but again it's always uh, fun to take an online class as always um, but again note that it will be a lot of work and note that this isn't this is not a throwaway class this is a 2000 level survey so again uh, you can't just finish everything in a day obviously again if you have any needs requests or questions always email me what you'll be seeing in the main homepage will be a discussion board for any kind of continuing questions as well as of course all the different tasks and so forth week to week i hope you have a great semester i look forward to contacting everybody and take care